Hi guys, my name is Martin. I'm going to show you how to get started with the programming in the COS 1511 module, which is called Introduction to Programming 1. Please note this is not an official guide and I'm not affiliated with UNISA. UNISA should have sent you a CD with your learning material. If you haven't received it, you can download it from the module section and additional resources. Click on Disk 2015, COS 1511. Click on the link installing the software. There is a link here. And you can right click this and save it. If you've received the disk from UNISA and you've inserted it, you'll have this window pop up. Click the bottom one which is open folder to view files. Click on the install directory. Click on code blocks and you can double click this file to run it. This is the installation setup for code blocks. Click next. I agree. Next. Unisa states it's important to install it on your root directory or your root drive which is C drive so it's best to just leave it as this. Click yes. And this is code blocks. It might look a bit different to yours because I've already minimized the project manager window. If you click on view and if you click manager, you'll see this workspace appears. Unisa states we don't need this right now since we're not working with multiple projects at once. And we can now get started on the programming. The first thing to do would be to create a directory for our source files which is our programming files you should create this on your C drive in the root directory create a new folder called UNISA now it's very important that there are no spaces in the folders that you're creating so I'm gonna create now a folder for COS1511 there should be no space like this as it will create issues in the future going to create another folder here to divide up our lesson. There's lesson 1. Take note there's no space between n and 1. And create one more folder and just call it exercise 1. So now we're back to code blocks. What we're going to do is click file, new and empty file. As you can see, you can also push Control shift n which will automatically do that for you. And there is our new empty file. So the first thing you need to do now is save, which you can do by clicking File, Save File As, or Control s And now we're going to go to that Unisa directory, Cause 1511, Lesson 1, Exercise 1. Now, this is something that's very important to do, otherwise it's not going to run at the bottom you need to rename your file and it has to have the extension .cpp at the bottom this is very important if it is just C then it is going to compile for C the CPP is C++ and that's what we're programming in so <coughs> we're going to start now with the demonstration they have in the book I've opened up the help file from the CD, which is also on their website, and we're going to now go and put in this code that they've got here, which is your typical hello world demonstration. Include IO stream using namespace standard. done. It looks exactly the same. I'm going to run it by either clicking build and build and run or you can push F9. As you can see it, it runs correctly. Hello world. 
and that's all there is to it. If you have any errors, you will see them appear at the build log. I went and intentionally created an error just to make one appear. All of your coding will be taking place in this window over here. And that's all there is to it. What I personally recommend one does is when naming your files and folders, as you can see I've got them arranged here, is to give them names regarding what they are in the exercise book so in the future if you ever need to go back to it you know exactly what it is as you might need to reuse the code or look back at something. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.